I am just 11 years old when my story begins. I am a young girl in a country where war surrounds us. I live in Kosovo. I attend school and sit by my best friend Zena. My older brother Melma is also in my class. My father owns an Albanian shop which sits below our apartment. One day, while in school, I decided to doodle in class. I drew a pelican that resembled my teacher. Zena started laughing aloud at my drawing. The teacher heard her and took the drawing and made us stay after school that day. When I got home, my brother was not there. My papa asked why he did not walk home with me and I explained about the picture of the pelican and having to stay after school. Several hours had passed and he had not come home. Papa went looking for him with no success. Three days had passed when Mama returned. He said the Serbs had beaten him and left him for dead in a ditch, but he survived and came home. Papa knew that we must leave the city in order to protect our family. He called my uncle who owned a car. Uncle Fidel arrived with a car and took us to the hills where we would be safe for a while. There are so many other people here who have fled the city. I worry about Melmet. He has a lot of rage for the Serbs. He wants to join the KLA and fight the soldiers, but he is still too young. In order to keep him occupied, Mama has him start a little school for us in the hills and teach some of the young children, me included. After several weeks in the hills, we decided to go to Uncle Fidel's house. It would be very cramped, but we would have walls around us that make rather than the makeshift tents in the hills and little food to go around. There seemed to be nowhere safe as word spread of entire families being slaughtered. Then one night there was a knock at the door in the middle of the night and Uncle Fidel went outside and talked to the man at the door. He told Uncle Fidel that we needed to leave as soon as possible. Soldiers were coming. We had to leave again. But before we could, masked men showed up and they forced us to leave with only the clothes we were wearing. We listened and quickly fled. We joined long lines of families that were fleeing their homes, also at gunpoint. We made our way towards the border with Macedonia. Once we reached the border, we had to board a bus and were taken to a refugee camp. Even though we felt safe, we still did not know when or if we could ever go back home. Then one day Papa came to us with news. We could go to America. We had received papers and were picked to live with a host family in Vermont. I was unsure about all of this. I already had left my friends, my school, and my home behind. But now leaving for good to a new country, I was so unsure. Once we arrived in America, things were very different. It took time to adjust. We started school that fall, and it was quite a change. It took a lot to get used to, and I started to make friends. But then on September 11th, something happened. that turned my world upside down again. Some people flew planes into buildings.